In what is undoubtedly one of the most ambitious development projects ever attempted, in a decade, the Los Plateau Watershed Rehabilitation Project directed approximately $500 million over an area the size of Belgium. The differentiation of ecological and economic land became real when investment began to flow to improve the economic land. Entire communities being paid for their labor reshaped the devastated gullies, terracing the land to provide flat fields. The people benefited from the income provided for their work by learning new sustainable farming methods and from owning the outputs from the newly created agricultural lands. While productivity and income were the main incentives for individuals, the project's impact went far beyond this. The project's scale with an active project area of 35,000 square kilometers made it possible to affect ecosystem health. Over a period of a decade, the people of Hojago and hundreds of other communities began to see their lives transforming. Oh, Long used to hard work, the people found that when their efforts were directed toward creating a sustainable future, they were able to improve both the ecology and the economy. We've always looked at this as a dual objective, which has to be achieved simultaneously. You cannot achieve one without the other. And so the project had to be balanced. And that's what we have, I think, achieved. And this is the reason why this has become so successful. Although for many centuries, the plateau has been considered almost as a desert. The fact is that the region receives, on average, between 250 and 800 millimeters of rainfall per year. Sufficient at the low end for functional grasslands, and at the high end, even for climax forest ecosystems. An early part of the project was to build small dams that could capture and hold the rainwater during the rainy season. Without this measure, the water would have continued to run off in floods, taking yet more topsoil with it. As vegetation cover is restored, the entire area becomes actively part of a functional hydrological cycle. With water being absorbed and stored in plants and in organic matter in the soil, Evaporation and respiration rates are then altered, increasing the humidity in the soil and in the air. Nature is a system with many interconnected parts. Even the lowliest grasses serve to provide ecological function. In restoring the plateau, both the grasses and trees play an important role. Trees and humans have coexisted since the beginning of time, but the relationship has not always been equal. The project is actively working to rebalance this and has stimulated new transplantation technologies with high survival rates and immediate ecological benefits. In the Lus Plateau, once vast forests were gradually removed, and their loss began the process of degradation that led to the ruin for which the plateau became known. 
A major part of the rehabilitation is to restore the forest cover. The Lus Plateau Rehabilitation Project planted a very large number of trees. The power of nature to restore itself was apparent and awe-inspiring. This is Hojago Village when we first visited. And this is the same valley 10 years later. The people of the Lus Plateau are proving that it is possible to rehabilitate large-scale damaged ecosystems, including returning ecosystem function that had been lost over broad areas and long periods of time. This is of enormous significance, as it is exactly the knowledge that is needed to repair ecological damage on a planetary scale. This is not limited to a single village, but is happening over a very large area. The vegetation and tree cover is returning and encouraging biodiversity. There are now many more plant and animal species on the plateau. The roots of the plants and the annual accumulation of decaying organic matter is helping stabilize the soil. The improved soil structure and vegetation cover helps naturally infiltrate and retain water during rainfall, reducing the threat of flooding, drought, and dust storms, and beginning to restore a more normal water cycle.